Hi, good morning everyone. Myself and Raja. Today I will discuss about theory of constants, TOC. First of all, please subscribe my channel. Quality is everything is my channel and please watch and share my full video. Today my session is basically based on TOC, theory of constants. Today I will discuss about what is TOC and also discuss about the benefits of TOC in manufacturing sector. So let's start what is TOC. TOC, theory of constant. Basically, theory of constant is a scientific method for improvement in manufacturing sector and other sector also. So, theory of constant is a scientific scientific method scientific method for improvement in process. Basically for automobile sector and manufacturing sector. But before understanding the TOC, you need to understand the meaning of constants. What is constants? Constants. Constants are anything. Constants. Constants are anything. Are anything. that prevent the organization that prevent the organization from making progress towards its goal making progress towards its goal its goal so constant are anything thing that prevent the organization from making progress towards its goal means constants are just like a obstacle something like a dangerous that is a bottleness that always create a problem for achieving the goal of any organization so for example in a process some different station for example this is a process and hot Five different type of station. This is a process. This is a first station. This is second station. This is second station. Like a chain system. This is second station. And something. This is second station. And this is the way you have to go in the process. And you have to find out. This is a weakest. This is your weak chain. This is your weak chain. So theory of focus. On the base of theory of constant, you easily find out the constant means weakest point constants. Constants that is called the weakest, weakest chain in your process. So, main mode of theory of constant to finding out the weakest chain in your process. So, if you find out the weakest point weakest chain of your process definitely will lead to improve in your process and your company will be grow but theory of constant for success of theory of constant you need to lean tools you need to lean tools tools because without lean tools it can't be possible so basically theory of constant have five state so this step, if you follow this step, easily you need to implement in your organization and definitely get a good result. So I will discuss about the five step of TOC. That is very helpful. So first of all, you need to first the point that is the first step that is called identify. Identify first step is the identify the Constraint. Second step is the exploit. Exploit. Exploit means exploit the constraint means quick improvement in the process. That is exploit. Second point is the subordinate. Subordinate. Subordinate the constraint. Fourth point is the elevate. Elevate and the fourth and the last that is called repeat. 
repeating. That is the fifth different type of state or theory of constant. So first is the identifier. In this step, you need to identify the constant. You need to identify the constant in this step. Second step, exploit means quick. You need to quick improvement. That is the main motto in your in this step. Subnet means review the access process. Review. Review the access process. Review the process. That is called the subnet. Elevate. In this step, during this process, first is the identify means consistency, find out the consistency. Exploit means quick improvement. In this situation, in this step, you need to take some quick improvement. But in this step, you use to you will use only existence budget, existence resource resources. You don't need to access resources yeah, extra budget for improvement in this state. So what it means review the access process means review the make uh, review all other activity in a process. Review all other activity in a process. Review all other activity in a process. Review all other activity. All other activity in a process. Other activity in a process. In a process. And elevate means doing all three process. If constants exist, constant is will be available, then you need to again accept. Means if constant, if constant constraints exist in a process process after quick improvement but uh, after applying the quick improvement but again constant exist in a process so you need to in a process you need to you need to you need to some extra Need to extra improvement improvement in process you need to like tpm implementing the tpm so this is the event process at this step you need to extra budget you can use the excess resources and it is a repeated process the final process during all the four process if the constant is available the final repeated state is easily said that in the process, if you find out the first constraint, you have to remove the first constraint. You need to work on another constraint. This is a continued chain. This is called just like a PDC cycle. Plan to check out. It's continue repeated problem. And if you just again you have to find the constraint, you need to work. This is a repeated problem. Excess you find the you find the you find the next constraint. Next constraint. That is called repeat process. This is a five step. But all this process you need to lean tools. Without lean tools, you can't be success for TOC. So for identify the constant, so which type of tools that is most important to finding the constant. So for this process, you need to two tools for lean. First is the that is called that is called the value stream mapping that is called the value stream mapping mapping value stream mapping bsn that is the first lean tools that is used for the identify the constant second tool for identify the constant that is called gamma gamma and for exploit cases, you need to different type of tools that is most important. In this method, you need to 5S, 5S, visual, um, you need to 
visual factory means visual factory visual factory and on and also that is most important that is called uh, standardized wi standardized work standard sw standardized work standardized work this is also benefit for finding the quick improvement and that is like third is the kaizen last is the kaizen kaizen is the small kaizen you need to for quick improvement that is the lean tools and for subunit subunit for the review the all access process the two tools that is most important for lean is available that is called first it is the kanban kanban for access review of the process and that that is for that is called the line control that is called the line control so this is a lean tools is that is applicable for the third point that is called subordinate and for elevate at this situation at this situation at this situation you need to the two most important is the this is first that is called the TPM total productivity maintenance that is most important tools third is single method exchange uh, SMED single uh, that is SMED means uh, SMED SMED and uh, single minute exchange of data that is called the single minute exchange of data and that is most important the you can also use the poka yuka that is most important the poka yuka poka yoke poka yoke and also uh, that is called the uh, g that is a tool and this tool is applicable for the uh, improve the um, process improve the improvement the process so it is the this is type of tools that is most important and it is applicable for the lean tools that is applicable for on for on toc that is this tools and repeat the 